Hey, my name is Sajad, and welcome to the Sunan Weekly Podcast, where we share with you some of the awesome projects we are working on, along with some of our biggest takeaways this week. Here, we want to give you a chance to see how we are making a difference so that we can all level up. Hey, hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to the next round of the Sunan Weekly Podcast. What are we working on? Logo designs are instrumental when it comes to brand recognition. Think about it. Whenever you see a logo, for example, like Nike, Coca-Cola, or Starbucks, you can't help but feel a certain way. Now, it's not that the image itself is completely communicating all the emotional responses that are intended or even unintended, but it plays a very important and a major role. It's a fundamental starting point. Think of faces, for example. If I told you to close your eyes and visualize your best friend, a particular person would come to mind. Now, while visualizing this person, your friend, you could accurately identify a lot of your friend's facial features, how they may style their hair, the complexion of their skin, or even how puffy their eyes may seem at times. Now, even aside from your friend's facial features, your friend makes you feel a certain way. Visualizing them reminds you of how caring they may be, or how bold they may be, or even how forgetful they may be. Visualizing them also brings memories as to how they make you feel and the good times and the bad times you may have shared together. Think of logos as faces to businesses. They are the emotional triggers that businesses strategically want to cultivate with you, the customer. These range from honesty, friendliness to a sense of belonging. At Sunan Designs, we are strong believers in investing into a professional logo. As you've guessed it, that's the next blog topic for this week. My biggest takeaway this week, level up your squad. Over the past few weeks, I've had the honor of reading High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard, who is one of the top motivation and marketing trainers of our times. In this book, he dedicates a good portion of the book talking about leveling up your squad, which really resonated with me. The people around us play a tremendous role in shaping our productivity, our perspective, our energy, and even our skill set. If you surround yourself with people who have a gloomy outlook on life, guess what? You're going to have a gloomy outlook on life. If you surround yourself with people who are quick to judge and dismiss the great and positive work by others, you guessed it, you will start thinking the exact same way. As entrepreneurs and marketers, we have to be very conscious as to who we surround ourselves with. Just because we grew up with certain people does not mean that they are the best folks to be around. Now, I'm not suggesting that you avoid certain family members or, or coworkers, but it's time for us to be more strategic and thoughtful as to who we are surrounding ourselves with. One of the easiest things we can do to take our game to the next level is to surround ourselves with people who are already at that next level. If you feel you struggle with managing stress and anger, find someone in your squad that is good at handling this and learn from them. If you want to become better at managing your energy level, Find high performers and learn from them. Now, here's your challenge for the week. Be very conscious of who you surround yourself with. If it needs tweaking, time to level up. <laughs>